I find it weird how so many people, especially those who tilt to the right, are screaming and crying about low birth rates, and that people on the left are encouraging people to have fewer kids. Yeah, why does that make you upset? This means that those of you with these traditionalist kind of mindsets, these right-wing kind of mindsets, can spread your beliefs and ideals far and wide. You can have five kids or more if you want. You can spread that ideology to more people, and you have less competition. This means fewer kids will be indoctrinated with left-wing ideologies. Shouldn't you be celebrating that? Or are you afraid that more adopted kids will have liberal adopted parents? Is that part of your concern? Do you think adopted kids should only have traditional right-tilting parents? who want things to be as close to a traditional nuclear family as possible? Are you really that much of an authoritarian? Are you honestly afraid that Muslims will outbreed you? Here in the United States, Muslims make up 0.9% of the population. Does that worry you? Do you honestly see that as a problem here in the United States? Now, I mean, outside the United States, in some parts of Europe, this might be a little more of a concern. But the main concern should be about, you know, jihadist Muslims, uh, Muslim extremists, not just the regular everyday Muslims. You know, the concern should be more about radical Muslims than birth rates. There are people in the comment sections, who I won't name, who have went from being very liberal to basically repeating Bob Whitaker's mantra. You know, Bob Whitaker's mantra, that whole anti-racist is a code word for anti-white crap. The mindsets that from 2009 to around 2013 were continually censored and silenced here on YouTube, and people didn't really have much of a problem with them being silenced. People used to say, well, yeah, who cares if these white nationalists are being silenced? That's what was said back then. But now, no, now it's, it's, oh, it's, it's terrible. It's so terrible. We want 2014 to 2016 YouTube back. Well, it's not coming back. It's never going to come back. What changed? Did you fall for the white nationalist propaganda? And now you're a true believer? But you don't want the label white nationalist? You changed, so I should change with you? Should I become a white nationalist because you'll call me an SJW unless I do? Yeah, it's not going to work. I did fall down the white nationalist rabbit hole for a while there, but I eventually got out of it. Do you need a ladder? A rope? A pep talk? Some people even try to claim that Red Ice TV isn't white nationalist propaganda. Some people even try to claim that Bob Whitaker's mantra isn't white nationalist propaganda. No, no, it's just common sense. That's how far down the rabbit hole a lot of people have went. That's how successful the propaganda has been. And you want to give them free reign on this platform? Interesting. To those of us who made our way out of the rabbit hole, and to those who never fell down the rabbit hole to begin with, all this whining about low birth rates and this supposed decline of Western civilization looks exactly like what it is. White nationalist talking points. Look, if you want to raise your family with traditional values, nobody's going to stop you. You can even have 10 kids if you want. Now, I mean, if you have 10 kids, there'll be some people who look at you like you're a baby factory, but, you know, you're still free to do it. There's certainly nothing that anyone can do to stop you from doing it. Just as you can't stop LGBT families from raising their kids with their values. And there's nothing you can do to stop their values from being promoted in mainstream media. Part of living in a free country is accepting that people have different values than you do. If you want your children to be taught your particular brand of traditional values in school then you need to take them to a private school. If you want them to be taught to be more inclusive, then you take them to public schools. But stop expecting people to take seriously your incessant whining about the supposed decline of Western civilization. And stop whining about low birth rates. Nobody's stopping you from having as many kids as you want. Just saying.